What if a married man refused to provide for his wife and she had to support him? What if he refused to protect her or defend her? When there was a loud noise at night, she had to go investigate why he hid with the children. What if he refused to spend any time with her, talk to her, listen to her vent, or take her out on dates? If he spent all of his free time with their children, what would be said of that man? What would his wife say to him? What would she say about him? Would she be happy in that type of marriage? What would her friends or family members advise her to do? What would their therapist at couples therapy say? What would they tell him, the husband, to do? And how does society view such a man? What type of pressure do men face when they don't treat their wives properly? That's a rhetorical question because we all know the answer. He'd be ridiculed, told that he was less than a man, told that he was derelict in his husbandly duties, and he'd be forced to do better. His friends and family members would openly chastise him, and his wife would be encouraged to leave him if he didn't. Even if he were derelict in one of the three areas I mentioned, but he was great at everything else, on top of being faithful to her, never sleeping with another woman, being good to their children, going to church and reading his Bible daily, he'd still be an insufficient husband. He'd still be told he had to do more as a man. There would be no excuses, no acceptable explanation for why he was deficient in any area. So he couldn't say it was because he didn't have time or because he was tired or because he was overwhelmed. We'd all say to him, find the time, find the strength, find the will to do what you're supposed to do to make his wife happy. Because men aren't allowed to slack off. At no point can a man be allowed to refuse provision, protection, and communication with his wife. He's never allowed to ignore her basic needs because men are constantly held accountable. As the phrase that's been drilled into our head goes, happy wife, happy life. She comes first at all times, even at the expense of his needs. But what happens when a wife slacks off, when she's derelict in her duties? What happens when she deprives her husband of basic needs, like physical intimacy? What does society tell her? And what options are her husband presented with if she refuses to improve? You've just seen a preview of an upcoming video. If you want to see more, follow the link. Or go to my YouTube channel, where you'll have access to all of my latest content. And please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell when you get there. This is The Layman's Journal. I'm out.